Welcome to One to One Kids Online, hosted by a selection of really cool leaders from One to One Kids. Join them so you can learn about the Bible and grow in your faith. Once again, welcome to One to One Kids Online. G'day kids, I am Matt. I am Cooper. And today we're starting a new series called Real Love. What? My, my love for gold. I've got my lovely three on it. No, um, not quite. We're actually talking about the real love that God has for each one of us. Oh, I didn't get the memo. Yeah. Oh, I, Wait, mis I misread that. We sent memos out? Oh. Kevin, do you want to explain that to us later? Uh, yeah. Don't worry, we'll talk about that. Well, later. Yeah. yeah. Next time, don't spell gold yeah. for the. Day. See, no, not that quite type of love. Um, what's in the box? Ah, so, this box, I'm actually trying to measure God's love. So I've got, I've got this tape measure and um, 8 metres, that's pretty long. I'm about 10 metres tall, so it doesn't matter. But um, I was thinking maybe 400 millimetres was about right. I was just trying to calculate it. And then the ruler, I was using that as well, um, just scaling it up. That was working pretty well too. And then I have to stop it on my phone to see how long it would last. What did you just say? I'm trying to measure God's love. Well, Kato, you know you have a tape measure, a ruler, yeah, and your phone. Yeah. None of those things help. They don't help. No. Oh, I was missing something. Well, God's love's pretty big. You know how big? How big? Infinite. Wow. You know That's how big infinite good. is? Infinite. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's all. <awesome>. Nice. <laughs> but God's love is higher than did you know that? Bigger than the clouds. That's okay. a lot. That's a long one. Now, I've got some stuff here. That the only real measure of God's love is the cross. You know, you know the story? So okay. he loved us enough to send his only son down. That's it, you got it. And that's how we can know. I knew, I knew your dirty brain would get yeah. Yeah. Even though you try to measure God's love and hate. You must love someone a lot to be able to sacrifice your own son for them. Yeah, but it wasn't just to say, me or me or you it was meant to save everyone wow his love is forever that that. Cool, that's pretty cool so all this talk about love this reminds me of the story of nicodemus nicodemus yeah nicodemus haven't heard that name in a while why does that sound like a fish? my childhood friend oh. my long lost cousin but um he experienced god's love for real in the bible like we all can and so now we're going to watch this short video clip that will explain the story of Nick Dance. Well today, I want to tell you a story about Jesus, a man named Nicodemus, and the time Jesus taught Nicodemus something about love. Our story begins one night when Nicodemus came to visit Jesus. Nicodemus had questions. He wanted to know how to know God better and thought Jesus might have the answers. But Nicodemus had a problem. Nicodemus was in a group called the Pharisees. The other Pharisees didn't believe Jesus could be trusted. Jesus said he was God, but the Pharisees wouldn't believe him. Jesus told them God loved everyone, but they didn't believe that either. They thought God only loved people who followed all the rules and never made mistakes. But Nicodemus wasn't like the other Pharisees, so he asked Jesus to teach him more about God. That's when Jesus told Nicodemus something amazing. Jesus said, God loves everyone in the whole world. Isn't that exciting? That means God loved Nicodemus, God loves you, God loves your family, God loves everyone in this room, and God loves everyone you'll ever meet. God wow, that video was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I love the cartoons. Yeah. Um, now, Gata, just to remind everyone, Nicodemus was a Pharisee. A Pharisee? Yeah. Right. Oh, they were the people that thought they knew absolutely everything about the law of the Lord. You <laughs> thought you were working about God's love. Uh, take yeah, that's true. But they thought they knew everything as well. That's what you know. But, well, I can tell you something. They didn't. And he yeah. realized this when Jesus was showed to him. He's alive. So when he met Jesus, he was like, there is so much I don't know. There's a lot more than he does. Right. That's kind of like when I went up the grade in math class, I was like, oh no. <laughs> you, you just There's like, a oh, times table thing. There's times tables. 
more chemistry than the periodic table, but yeah. the teacher elements. When uh, Nicodemus started to follow Jesus, he began to learn God's love and that God loves everyone, mm -hmm. including the Pharisees who like him. Yeah. And including the people who weren't like even close world. to God or didn't no. study the law. Nothing like that. It was pretty cool yeah. how he learned that, even though he thought he knew it. True. So now, we're just going to ask you to read John 3, 16 to 17 together. Oh. And we can give you a bit of time for that. Jesus because he learned God has so much love for everyone, including the Pharisees. And he still loves everyone today. So kids, now that we know all about the love of God, what should we do about it? I don't know. Because love is really important to God and everything, it sums up everything that God is. God is love. And what does come from God when he does love us. That's true. In the same way, uh, love needs to be the reason while we all act a certain way too. True. So now, think of a time when you've had a really tough time loving someone. Like, maybe they stole the last bit of pizza in the fridge. That was and you really wanted to just give them a piece of your mind, but you really had to try and love them in that moment. Fine, you can have it. Yeah. But in your head, you just wanted to tackle them yeah. and get that pizza back. True. And that's not love, is it? No. So what? Love is... What do you think? Fill in the blanks, kids. Can you think for a few minutes and try and answer that question? Love is... What? Da da da.
with that activity. You might have guessed what love is. It might be a whole different variable of answers. Well, if you want to know the answer, go to Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 7. And you'll see that it's all different types of things. You know? A lot of very good describing words for love, for what love is. Maybe patient. Yeah. Humble. Kind. Yeah. Not jealous of that very pizza. Very true. Cool. Yeah. So there are so many ways that we can show love to others. Some ways are simple and easy, but other ways are really tough because it's like not what you want to do. It's like the opposite. Like you, you, you hold it back. You, know, you want to hold it back. You know God tells you just to not do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're going to pray for you all. We're not going to have a good week, so yeah. we'll pray for you now. Do you want to pray for us, Kato? Sure, I can do that. Everyone, close your eyes and bow your head. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you sent Jesus to save us all. Just like you helped Nicodemus, help us to understand your great love and to share it with everyone we meet. Amen. Amen. Um, the big idea for what is the big this, idea? It was God loves everyone. Not I, just the Pharisees. No, Not just no. Nicodemus. He loves everyone. He loves everybody. You, me, Kevin Bond. Do we want to repeat it someone? before we finish? Yeah, might as well. Okay, I'll okay, count okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. God, God loves, loves everyone. everyone. Right, well, we'll see you next time, kids. Hope you have a great week. Happy you, piano. Yep. Catch you guys. Oh